Hi, welcome back to Mr. Chan's Fountain Pen World. Um, I bought uh, this uh, Taiwan made pen. Uh, this is the IWI hand script. And uh, this is how it looks like in the box. Uh, first, I seeing it, I saw the nib is made by a German company, Buck, and that is the major reason I buy this pen. Um, okay, so I bought this pen and I found it uh, quite nice, and I googled some information about it, and I found that there are three different types of this pen, um, three different series. The normal series uh, with nine different colors and this is the WD series uh, means uh, the the barrel is covered by a coating um, made like wood but it is not real wood it is uh, made, made out of some some kind of plastic and there are four colors of this WD series wood series and the last series is the carbon fiber series uh, it only comes in black and it looks quite cool so uh, let's start talking about this pen uh, you can see that uh, this pen is uh, the cap and the barrel is both made in by uh, made with uh, metal and it is quite cool you can see uh, this matte silver color um, I like it and it has some writings on it IWI hand script WD and if you look at the end of the barrel you can see uh, there are two rubber o-rings it helps you to post your pen it posts very securely but however although this is a short pen so uh, posting short pen is very normal but uh, the cap is too heavy for me I I feel uncomfortable writing it with uh, the cap posted and the length is okay for me to write unposted so I'd rather like to write unposted and uh, the nib is made by the German company German nib maker uh, called Buck uh, and it works quite well. Um, I compared with uh, two other uh, German made nibs. Um, you can see the left one is made by Schmidt. Uh, you can see the nib is a little bit longer, uh, but I think all the feet are interchangeable. And so you can change the nibs with each other, but uh, maybe for this Kaveco Sport and this hand script, uh, maybe uh, if you take this Schmidt nib uh, to these two shorter pens, maybe uh, the the cap of the pen is not long enough. So I haven't tried that. Uh, I will try it in the near future uh, after I do it I will probably make another video okay and unscrew the barrel you can see uh, this is the black cartridge uh, which comes with this pen mm. uh, it is a Universal 
cartridge and uh, you can only use universal short cartridge you cannot use the long one because uh, the barrel is not long enough okay so let's look at this pen and have some measurements Okay, so let's do some writing sample. Uh, this pen is I W I uh, hand scraped. Uh, this is the W D series, uh, the fake wood, and uh, the nib is. Buck made in Germany and uh, for this series of pen it only comes with an extra fine nib so maybe you can get other different size of nibs to swap I'm not sure uh, I'm I haven't tried but I think it is okay to do that um i'll say buck ef dc say uh stainless snip and uh, the increase uh black black cartridge so let's write something the Quick brown fox jumps over the lady dog. Oh, uh, this nib is very smooth, and the feed works quite well as well. Um, so the ink flow is really nice. Mm. It is not uh, pretty wet, but it is uh, comfortably wet. And uh, if we try fast writing, fast writing like this uh, you can see there is no skipping or some other issues so uh, the ink flow is really nice and if we try some reverse writing uh, it is scratchy but but uh, the ink flow is very surprisingly good so uh, you don't feel dry but only feel the scratchiness uh, because this nib is designed not to write reverse so I really like this pen mm, what else can I say oh flexibility if you uh, really push the nib you can get a little bit line variation, but not much. Uh, I would say it is a hard nib. Uh, a hard nib is good for uh, daily writing. Uh, it is convenience. And uh, this is my introduction of this pen. I hope you like it. And I hope I can make uh, more videos more frequently uh, more oftenly uh, 
more uh, upload more videos more often. Thank you very much for watching. See you.